the lawyer for the two suspended lecturers, uh, sharing his views on the decision by the university. Lawyer Francis Xavier Susu describes the punishment as harsh, insisting the interdiction was punitive enough. So clearly it looks like a case of double jeopardy because they've, they've suffered some punishment before the decision and, and suffering more punishment even after the decision. He said it was strange that the fact-finding committee exonerated the lecturers of wrongdoing in terms of sex for grades, but the disciplinary committee insisted the two senior officers undergo appropriate training on the university's sexual harassment and misconduct policy for academic staff. How do you talk about training in antisocial harassment policies when you have come to the conclusion that the said allegation did not exist? You are reprobating and approbating at the same time, and it is not allowed in law. He took serious exception to the BBC not appearing before the committee. It appears to me that the university seems to be afraid of BBC. It doesn't want to pitch itself against BBC. But that shouldn't be the case. BBC did a bad job, and they must be told in the face that they did a bad job. Yeah. BBC was invited to this hearing. They refused flatly. And I think, you know, I take serious exception to that. I asked if he would take the BBC on legally, as indicated earlier. I think that their posturing in all this thing is to keep cool heads and allow sleeping dogs to lie and because they think that their own image has been battered so badly over the period and all they want to do now is to bring a closure to this because they also have a family they have a life and they have a future professor runs for jampu was handed six month suspension while dr paul butako was handed a four month suspension both without pay and this is effective january 1 2020